Hello everyone, you guys seem to have enjoyed the last guide. And this time I'm gonna be coming out with part two. This one will this one will be like more about new maps and more in depth about the mechanics of what is movement, how is peaking, how is everything involved together. And we're just gonna make it quite simple and quick. And I wanna thank you guys for like all the support you guys given me from the last video. I kinda went from like two seventy subscribers to like to almost a thousand today, probably. And I wanted to thank you guys for that. Alright, enjoy. Alright, the first thing we'll talk about for the video is overexposing yourself. So I don't want you guys show your body too much when you're going around the corner. So basically at this point, I'm showing my elbow, but I cannot see them. Right? I cannot see them. Right? So here your elbow showing and a little bit of your shoulder, and you can't even see me. So what's happening is that when people do that, is that you can't see them. And if you keep going and you want to swing off of your weird jiggle, the person can always punish you. Remaining. So here I'm gonna over I'm gonna overexpose my body and I'm gonna get punished from it. Because what people do is that they might keep spraying at your jiggle peak and you don't want to go immediately. So here's what's gonna happen. Yeah, so when you're clearing, what you need to make sure is that you don't show your body too much so that you don't get punished from it. And that you're actually trying to get information out of it. If you're only showing your sh elbow, you cannot die. And if the person shoots your elbow, well, you, they can't. They can't react to it. So if you're clearing the main, what's important is to jiggle this, for example, and then swing this. Jiggle this, swing this. Jiggle, swing, jiggle, wait, swing. Got it? <laughs> Alright, jump out. Get on out there. I've got your trail. So what you basically want to do if you want to go quiet, just make sure you don't show too much and you take your time. Do not get randomly lined up and you clear well. Show only a little, only a little. Then take your time and then go. That's how you should swing here. I'm not making any sound when I'm doing this movement. So I'm going to show an example of how to clear sight aggressively. So if I go, for example, I want to get lane, what's good is just jump peeking it. You're getting so much information. You're clearing this, here. this, and almost this by jumping. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is velocity. Let's go a bit further from the angle and then start. This is my full speed to swing something. So basically what I'm saying is just that try to not swing too close from the wall and get a bit of space if you want to avoid swing. If I'm jumping this, I don't start right away. Especially if I'm jumping with a gun. I go back, prepare myself and then go. Uh, now I'm at full speed to be able to swing. Three examples of like, oh, what does it look like of max velocity or why should you, why holding W is bad in general or just using max velocity. One enemy remaining. So at first let's do W peak. So like here nice. she overexposed that herself sucks. so it was really easy for me to react to the overexposure. Plus she can't react to me with W. Of W or counter strafing W is kind of weird. So like it's, it doesn't feel natural. Now let's do minimum velocity of a wide swing fair. So it's kind of slow. They're from the spawn. Yeah, so so earlier I killed her here. Earlier now I kill her here. So where should you play to guarantee a kill if you're not able to play aggressively in common angles. You can't always play here, you can't always play in the open of P main, right? So you want to play somewhere, but you don't want to play stairs because it's kind of common in markets, it's the same thing. So you want to play technically somewhere like this. So Faye, push lane and show me. Uh-huh. So here, she didn't She didn't really see me first. That's not the first thing she's worried about. If you're coming out of lane, you have other things to worry about. You have backside, you have this, you have this, you have this. You're not necessarily clearing behind this box. And it's a good time for the enemy to kill you if you're not clearing it. Or yourself to kill the enemy. So that's one common off. Go, go, go. So here's a basic example of how it could look like in game. See? See? She's there. Okay. But now you're going to be telling me like, Oh, when do I get aggressive? I can't always be playing off angles. Well, there's also a lot of different options for your off angles like this one. Maybe punishing them from this angle. There's different ways to use them, so you need to find them yourself. But the next thing you guys can do is play aggressively. Play aggressive 
off angles. So this one's pretty good is because if they run into sight with an A swing, they don't necessarily clear this. So if they do an example of what you mean. But they don't clear it like that, she's a bot. So usually you don't want to play here, because everyone's looking towards here. Here also. But if you play down here and your teammate is some way, some, some way somehow holding lane, it's a good idea to play here. Because if they want to go through switch, like at the jet swing, they don't necessarily clear this. They look backside or they look CT when they go towards here. So this is a good off and a good time window to punish them. And uh, one of my favorite angles to play an, as an off angle aggressively is here. Especially if, they don't have, if we don't put a smoke there. So for example, for garage, most of the time you need to hold close. Because this is like a sort of a diagonal ang angle. And most people don't fully wide swing this. It's kind of weird. They just go like this. They do a tight swing. So it would depend on the angle. Diagonal angles, it's mostly tight. However, if you're there pushing A long, you know, be ready to aim wide. Because a lot of people, what they like to do is their pad thing is they go D a lot to check hell. So you can punish them from going wide because you can catch them off guard by playing this aggressively. This is sort of a c c off angle that you guys can use too and punish them. One scenarios to aim wide is when they're uh, rushing a site and holding close. Well, it would depend. If they if you know they're walking up, it's the best moment to hold close. Maps. So here in B main and that split, this is the kind of aggressive that you can play here. So Faye, example. Don't do that. Nobody does that. <laughs> just wide swing Faye. <laughs> Uh-huh, right here. So this is a really good angle to just try to hit their wide swing when they're rushing B main and just run away, basically. The next thing we can go is mid. Yeah, so here I had a lot of time to just spray her body or maybe I take, take my time to aim at the head. So the next thing I want you to path your way is like this way. This way, okay? Just wait for me. Okay, go ahead. So yeah, here's, they definitely would be looking towards rope because they're very worried about it, especially if they don't split a smoke, and you can punish them. And another one is this one. So here, if they jump onto the box over there, well, you can punish them for jumping on top of the box. If you know they're going to push ramps, try to hold wide here and expect them. They won't be clearing this because it's a different type. If they're looking at CT or here first. So if I play here, I can punish them. They're going to go ramps a lot, or you want to play off timing aggressively on site. You can play here. A lot of people play here. And they just wait for people to cross towards ramp and they punish them for going ramp. So, and they like to play here even if they put, they rush site. So what can happen is that if they rush site, I'm going to swing her off timing this way. So here I'm going to look towards here. Because like they like to look towards CT or mid site and they don't expect me. See, she doesn't clear it the first thing that she thinks of. In B, it's the same thing. It would be here. So here's a high risk, high reward. A low reward kind of angle is that they're they're sort of clearing towards here first since it's a common angle, and it's not their first step to clear in the middle of this. They want to clear the box or either this. People are kind of dramatic with their clearing. They just look at oh this is a common angle. I'm gonna look towards there and oh okay I'm gonna directly shoot the box. You know, they don't sort of take steps to clear this at all. And towards C, it's the same thing as A. They're mostly gonna look towards C D, and I can just punish them for it. I can play here. And here you can punish them, you know? They turn around kind of late if there's no smoke and things like that. So try to just think about where are they looking first. Oh, if they come into sight if they don't have a smoke here, they're kind of worried about here and here. So they're not looking there immediately. After they clear this, then they will look. But as long as you're playing kind of aggressively towards that timing, you can always punish them. 